Okay, let's talk about some of the basic concepts of pH and pOH. For starters, I'm going to be talking about some of these and not writing them down, so listen and follow. Uh, what is the pH of an acid? Any pH less than 7. That's right, less than 7. Not 0 to 6 or something like that, less than 7. This is any pH greater than 7, and this is any pH that is 7. Because... Acids are associated with hydrogen ion. More hydrogen ion means more acid, which means a lower pH value if you have greater hydrogen ion concentration. Whereas if you have greater hydroxide ion concentration, then it's a higher pH value because this is less acidic, which means a higher pH. I should say if there's more of this, it becomes less acidic, which means a higher pH. If these, the acidic portion, the hydrogen, is equal to the basic portion, the hydroxide, if they're equal, then you have a neutral solution. So keep in mind when it comes to these, like I said before, any pH above 7 is basic, any pH below 7 is an acid, any pH that is 7 is neutral. So keep that in mind for these. That'll help you answer this. Mathematical formulas. What is the mathematical relationship between these things? Let's First of all, let's move this into easier view. Mathematical relationship is that KW equation. KW is, tells you... Uh, I should say, uh, I was going to, KW is the name of the 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. So uh, rather, I should do it this way. Hydrogen ion concentration times hydroxide ion concentration. And no, it doesn't matter whether you write hydroxide or hydrogen ion first. Um, but 1 times the other is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. And this number is known as... Kw. So that's why I often see this times this equals Kw, because Kw is this number. What's well, a formula for calculating pH from hydrogen ion concentration? pH equals negative log of hydrogen ion concentration. pOH, likewise, is negative log of hydroxide ion concentration. Mathematical relationship between the two? pH plus pOH equals 14. And so you can treat this as an algebra equation and solve, if you're given one, solve for the other easily. Okay, so example of that. Consider coffee. If you want to calculate this, you take what you're given, and first thing I'm going to say is you don't necessarily have to do this, then this, then this. You do these in any order you want that is convenient because there is more than one way to get these answers, and the way I'm going to show you is only one of the possible ways. So here is one possible way to do it. You can take advantage of this equation, and pH equals the negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth. And although it's not strictly necessary, I'm going to do this for clarity. I'm going to add your units and chemical identity. And then let's do that. Negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth is 5. So pH equals 5. Notice that there is no units. Now for clarity, actually, what I should do is something like this, pH equals 5, because when you're taking a test, you probably won't see a format like this. It'll just say solve for this, 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 and this, and give you a blank without separating it out, and so you're going to want to make it really clear what thing is what. Now, um, I will add one thing beyond that. It said 5, but sig fig rules apply. Two sig figs, two sig figs. So we're going to actually expand that to say... 5.0 to reflect two significant figures. Now, pOH and OH. There's two ways you can go about this. You could use this mathematical relationship to take this, have this divided by this, which is this number right here, to get this, and that becomes your answer here. So you could do this first. Or you can just simply say P. H plus pOH equals 14, which means pOH equals 14 minus pH, which means pOH equals 14 minus 5.0. This has infinite sig figs, but see how this goes to the tenths place? 
make sure your answer goes to the tenths place also. So 14 minus 5 is 9, so POH equals 9.0. Then for this one, you've got again, you've got two ways of doing it. You could use this to get this answer, or there is another way you could go about doing it. Um, you could do hydroxide ion concentration equals 10 to the negative pOH, which means 10 to the negative 9.0, which means 1.0 times 10 to the negative ninth power. Here, let me show you that. There you go. 1 times 10 to the negative ninth. Now, I changed it to 1.0 because I put in a number with two sig figs, so I got out a number with two sig figs. I'm going to add units and chemical identity. Now, the other way I could have done that, and this is equally valid, I could have said that since hydrogen ion times hydroxide ion concentration equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, oops, all I've got to do is divide both sides by hydroxide, hydrogen ion concentration, which means hydroxide concentration equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. This is a unitless quantity. Well, technically it's mole squared per decimeter to the 6, or molarity squared, but um, it's typically written without units. So anyway, this number divided by the hydrogen ion concentration, which is 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth. This is infinite sig figs, and this is two sig figs, so you will get an answer with two sig figs. And we do it with, scientific, with um, parentheses around the scientific notation, or you will get wrong order of operation error leading to wrong answer. Um, many times depending on your model of calculator. But anyway, let's do this. 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Oh, so I didn't push the times button because you're not supposed to on this model for this particular task. But anyway, I digress. Um, so 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by, because it's got to be divided by this, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 5th. And you get exact same number we had before, 1 times 10 to the negative 9th. So you could have done this or this. No one cares. They're both valid. Gives you the same answer. All good. Basic or neutral? Look, the pH is below 7. It's acidic. I don't know, so I forgot to read. Acidic, basic, or neutral, pH below 7. It's acidic. Okay? Your general same concepts will be going for all the rest of these. Here, I'll do... Uh, let me take a quick look at what else is there. Sure, I'll do... Uh, Let's see, is there any more of these I'd like to look at? Yeah, sure, why not? I'll just do one more. Okay, got it. So let's look at this situation where pH equals 9.31. I can already tell you it's basic because the pH is greater than 7. So, again, I can do this in any order I want. I could do this one first, or this one first, or this one first. So, eh, I'll do this one first, why not? pOH equals what? Well, keep in mind the formula, pH plus pOH equals 14, which means pOH equals 14 minus pH because if you subtract pH from both sides, then you get pH by itself, and that's what we're trying to get. So, 14 minus pH is 14 minus 9.31, and we, when we subtract, you count decimal places, so this goes to hundredths place. This is infinite sig fix, so your answer should go to the hundredths place. So 14 minus 9.31 is this. Oops, I have it still in scientific notation. There you go, 4.69. And since this goes to hundredths place and this goes to hundredths place, this is fine. So 4.69 is the pOH. Hydrogen ion concentration. 
Now, I could theoretically use this to get hydroxide ion concentration, then hydroxide ion to get this concentration using this formula, but I'll take it the easier way. Hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 10 to the power of negative pH, which means 10 to the power of negative 9.31, which is 10 to the power of negative 9.31. Actually, let me show you something real quick. I don't think I mentioned it earlier. I've got to do 10 to the negative 9.31. So I can either do 10 to the power of parentheses to avoid problems, uh, negative 9.31, and get that answer. Or, watch this, I can get the exact same thing with a shortcut. See this up here? 10 to the x, second function, and then this activates 10 to the x. Negative 9.31, close parentheses, and it's the exact same answer. Nice shortcut. So anyway, the, this is the raw answer. But you'll notice I use a 3 sig fig number to get it, so I'm going to round this to 3 sig figs. 4.897 becomes 4.90. But don't forget, times 10 to the negative 10th. And don't forget your unit, and don't forget your chemical identity. Box answers. Okay, hydroxide and concentration. Two ways to go about this. One, you could take, use this formula and divide by the hydroxide ion. So basically this divided by hydroxide ion concentration. So this, sorry, this divided by hydrogen ion concentration. So it'd be 1 times 10 to the 14th divided by this number would equal this number, in which case you'd have three sig figs for your answer. You could also just take the fact that uh, 10 to the negative pOH equals hydroxide ion concentration. And since pOH has three sig figs, it will also give a three sig fig answer. So 10 to the negative 4.69 becomes the answer here, and let's find out what that is. That's 10 to the negative 4.69. Just checking my numbers, okay. Is that, and I put it in scientific notation, and it becomes that. Three sig figs means you're gonna round it to three sig figs, 2.04. 2.04 times 10 to the negative fifth molar hydroxide ion. All right, so that's basically how you go about this kind of a thing now. Uh, I think looking at these, it should be fairly clear that these are essentially the same tasks. So as you go through, watch your sig figs, and just the big message is, keep in mind, it's not rigid. You don't have to do this, then this, then this. You can do this in any order. Maybe you want to do this one first. Maybe you want to do this one first. Maybe you want to do this one first. Or maybe you do want to do this one first. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Okay, pick the one that's convenient and easy because convenient and easy is good on a test where you've got to do stuff like this and have limited time to do it. So given that these follow the model of these, these should get you pretty well along the way in terms of showing how this goes. All right, there you have it.